Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you how you can create a calculation like month to date. So month to date is a very common calculation that is needed when you are preparing any report or dashboard. So before I move ahead and show you just a quick information that within the uh, description you will find three different links. So first link is for the uh, spreadsheet in which I am keeping all of these Power BI videos. So you can quickly search if you want to share with anyone you can quickly share that link. Second link is for all my videos on my channel related to Python, Tableau, ClickView, ClickSense and even the Power BI. And the third one is the uh, link for all the data sets that I keep using. All right. So over here, we'll move ahead and uh, do this piece. So what we did in the last video, if you remember, we created this calendar table, right? With the help of the expression calendar minimum order date and maximum order date. So what it is doing is based on the minimum order date of the order table and the maximum order date, uh, it is creating the table for us right so now i will show you two things oops from where you have come buddy let's remove you all right so what we will do i'll show you two different scenarios first scenario is with the help of this table so what i'll do is i will create a table and choose this table all right so i have uh, so by default what it does is it creates this additional dimension for us and now what we can do is we can take sales which will show for a given day what was the sale and it will keep calculating like it is based on the calendar date as you can see and if we go down in april or may it has moved to quarter two right so now what we are going to do is create a new calculation which will be based which will be calculating month to date and what we want to do is for each month we want to know till month to date how much we have sold even if we are on sixth day we should be able to get to know that all right so for that i will right click and click on new measure and we will call that mtd sales and the function itself is total mtd not dates mtd all right so what we need first is an expression that expression will going to tell uh, what we want and then the some of the dates right so over here we will write the expression as sum of sales that's what we need right and your date is calendar date and close this piece click ok it's as simple as that and now since this table is already selected i will check this up and now you can see 10521254 so what's going on 11000 is having uh, the aggregation with the 1052 and on the third row it has become 44152 so for each day so if you are here on the 10th day you can see that you have sold 223000 dollars worth of products and similarly if you go down to the last day of the month which was 31st you can see that the sale that you have is $516,000 worth of sales. Now from the next month, iteration again starts. And you can see till the month end how much you have sold, right? As that's the expectation. Now once we have this, what if, if we just want to have the last month worth of a sale or sale that we have in the last month? Well, in that case, you have to do slightly different let me click over here on the table and bring in the order date over here so this date is simply saying on which particular day the order has been executed or order has been uh, created now second is the sales and the third one is mtd sales so over here what it does is it does not create all of these different calculations like it was doing in this scenario in this scenario we have taken the date from the calendar table but in this second scenario we have taken the date from orders table so what we are doing going all the way up till down and it will show you that it will take only the last month of order 
this is crazy a little bit so bear with me okay let's go down buddy for you as soon as okay there you go so for december here are your values but the only thing is at the end you will going to get the actual number that for uh, december what is the value it does not do the cumulative for you so these are the two differences i wanted to show you if sometimes you may run into a problem as to what's going on so for late whatever is the latest month it will show you the total for the given value so based on the scenario that you have you can utilize it and get the output as desired but yeah that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can get the mtd sales so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic